Um, the first half, uh, Maryland made seven of their eight three pointers. Uh, one, you know, obviously there's been some issues with defending the three point line. But they shoot 26% through 350 in the country. And then, uh, give them credit, they came in, made shots, they had And then the production uh, that, I guess the minimal production out of Adem and Lazard and I. Yeah, huge problem. Huge problem. Coach, it didn't uh, obviously didn't go the way you wanted, but uh, oh, to be to be dealt. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that is that too much to ask, guys? I can't hear. Would you please go stop them? I apologize. No worries. Um, to have a comeback in, in, in two games, d despite being down first half, not the way you wanted it, is there some positive, uh, it, you know, seeing some fight in this team uh, when they are down that thing? You want the truth, you know, I'm going to give you a truthful answer. I don't see positive in the loss, <laughs> but I appreciate it. Um, you know, it's just, I would give you my opinion, and I, I was concerned about this after, after we played, you know, we played four NCAA tournament teams and lost four bloodbaths really good games, and we've, they've lost their confidence. This is just my opinion now. I don't, I'm not saying I'm right, it's my opinion. But we've lost our confidence. We get guys, well, at the beginning of the games, we get guys not coming close on free throws and open shots. So it's just hard to win there. It snowballs. It's just my, my opinion. They're good kids, they're young. Um, clearly, we don't have a go-to guy. Yes, we need to get more out of the game, but we have a confidence problem. It's very clear to me. And, and what happens is they get rattled and then they don't play the defensive assignments correctly. So that, that, that's, it snowballs, right? When you're young, um, think, you know, they're trying to live up to the letters on the jersey and the ball's not going in. And they, they, they start to feel the snowball effect. Of it. Just this is my opinion. What were you seeing out of uh, Trevary early on? What was kind of the adjustment? Well, see, so yeah, we got 37, and last year he probably had six against us. So we, we accomplished the game plan last year. I told the guys he's got to get 25 for them to win, and he got it at halftime. So we did an absolutely horrendous job on him. But congratulations to him. Played great. But we did an awful job. Could not have, could not have done a worse job. See, good teams that win games, they know why they win. They take away the other team's strengths. Like there's a whole list of like winners know why they win. Take away the other team's strengths. We really struggle with that. We're just not tough enough to do it. We're smart enough. Coach, you've been a coach for a long time. You mentioned that you believe your team has lost their confidence right now. How do you get it back? Tough. Tough to do. You gotta find a way to get a win. Got a man up. We have, we have a, you know, I thought Kenny manned up for a little while, came in and did some positive things and competed for us. He's an older guy. Um, it just seems like everybody's looking for the next guy to do it, would be my opinion. Uh, what did you see out of uh, Burke and his return tonight? Fouls. Fouls too much. Last question, Ben. Um, uh, today in the game, uh, it improved effort, I would say, offensive rebounding wise today. Uh, what did you see from second chance points in that part? Uh, yeah, well, I think it's skewed um, because our field goal percentage is so bad. You got to get some. I've had teams like this that have struggled early, long, 20 years ago. Actually, you know, more like 17 years ago. Not when I was at Murray State. When I was rebuilding Cincinnati. Um, you tend to rebound it because you miss so many shots. So it's not a good thing. Um, you know, but when I, I look down the line, um, I would say Burke, that's an area where he'll help us back to the previous question to give you a point in hand. So I, I think he helped us in that area tonight. He goes, he's got good hands. 
we got some guys that go, they don't have great hands. You know, rebounding's about positioning and angles and feel. That he does a good job of that. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Good. Um, if you could just look forward for me, because I don't think I'm going to get a chance to talk to you again before Pac-12 play starts. You know, how do you turn all of this around and focus on that? And like you say, you're yeah. Look, nobody game. feels sorry for you. You got to get You got to get, get better. Find a way that we have, we have a really uh, hard problem. We really struggle with uh, guarding the basketball. And then our second thing, we get broken down with foul. And that's killing our defense. But just our energy level. So we got to figure it out one way or the other. You know, I don't think we're smart enough and old enough to play trickery zones. You know, um, complicated as this team, this, this group can't handle. Um, so. It's a two-way street, you know. We got to get better in practice, but strategically, we got to figure some things out. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.